Okay. <laughs> Hi folks, it's Teresa from Stringfield Ridge Farm. We are shoveling up some black gold. This is what we got from the compost uh, place in the next uh, biggest town to us, which is Paducah. We got this whole big load we've already been digging out of. We got the whole big load. It's a pickup truck load for 20 bucks. It was a pickup truck load. Big pickup, big heaping pickup truck load yep. for $20. And uh, I wasn't sure how good it was going to be. And it does have a few uh, big chunks in it right at the edges here. You can see that there's a little bit of big stuff, but most of it's not. A little bit of big stuff there, but most of it up in there is really good black gold there. Mm -hmm. And we are shoveling us up a load to uh, fill up some beds with. And we just wanted to show this. Look in there at that pretty, pretty rich black gold. So uh, we are... Uh, Filling up our rice beds, our uh, pots. I have a lot of uh, containers and pots that I use uh, for herbs and tomatoes and different things. And uh, we got told Big Blue here, Old Blue. Old Blue. Old Blue. <laughs> Old Blue. And the little wagon that Buddy from Gemini is letting us borrow the wagon till we get ours fixed. Yeah. Uh, we've got a little wagon about like this, but it needs a little work. And um, so we are going to take old blue and this borrowed wagon and haul a bunch of black gold around the property, filling up containers and beds. And uh, this is the first year we've actually bought this. We do some composting and things that we've done ourselves before. Uh, we have a compost bin going. We're working on our second one. We've got rabbits now that we are putting the uh, rabbit manure in with our compost. Plus, I've thrown some on the uh, garden um, raw, you know. Uh, but uh, we're excited this year to really dig in deep and do a lot of gardening. And um, we've said before in a previous video, we're working on raised beds for my herb garden this year. Lee's got his in-ground garden that we will still be doing for the big crops. And uh, so we're excited. I'm excited to have this black gold, y'all. Uh, this is the first time we've bought it. We have good soil here on this property. But this year, because we're doing raised beds, we decided to buy some. And uh, I'm excited about it. So uh, let's see what we do with this stuff. This black gold. So I repotted my um, lemon balm there. We had we had dug the lemon balm up out of the uh, the uh, herb garden to make the raised beds. And uh, the lemon balm spreads pretty good, so I'm going to make it a separate spot by itself. But for now, until I figure out where I'm going to put it, I have put it in a pretty pink metal bucket with holes in the bottom. And used some of that nice black gold to uh, pot it. And if I can keep the chickens out of things. Yet. And there's some mint uh, I have bought peppermint because my peppermint wasn't true peppermint I had it had gotten mixed with several other mints and uh, I didn't think it was true peppermint anymore so I bought a peppermint and um, anyway so I gotta find a place to put that I may just leave it in a pot for a while and eventually find a place to uh, give it its own space but for now, we put that stuff in a pot. Yeah, put that stuff in a pot. It's been a long, hard day. All right, I had some lettuces going here that I had to take out of the greenhouse because it was getting too hot, and the chickens got up in it. <laughs> so the chickens kind of made a mess in this one. That's bok choy. 
and nothing back there they got in so that's what the chickens done yeah evil evil women get out of there anyhow so i still have lots of stuff in the greenhouse uh to get out some pepper plants and tomato plants and i still got to get my um tower uh, my stacking tower out of there and put on the porch which is all herbs and then i got a few plants down there that's got to come out but uh we are using that black gold dirt to uh repot and over here i have put my loofahs I put my loofahs in the ground, but I put some of that good, rich, black um, compost all around them and underneath them. And we've got those. They're going to climb on that uh, chicken coop. Now, we stuck all that around them so the chickens wouldn't get to them until they get good and established and climbing. All right, so what else? So we have been utilizing that black dirt today. There's my rain barrel. I use it to uh, fill up the waters and uh, I leave a bucket there that uh, I keep filled up for the chickens when they're out running around and the cats and dogs. He finally got me a piece put on my other compost bin there. And there's our compost, it's black gold too. But it ain't a whole lot of it. Now, um, we've also got this good stuff over here that we're collecting up. I've been throwing that a little bit at a time in. Um, that's from the rabbits. Been throwing a little bit of that at a time in with the um, um, in with the black gold when we pot and and. Uh, and make our our beds. I repotted some um, moss. Some of that just oh, it grows so easy. I don't, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a moss. Uh, not the flowering moss. This is just a, a moss. It's just a green. It doesn't have the uh, flowers on it. I've got some of that somewhere. And then that's the house leek. It needs watering. It had almost wilted on me. And uh, I planted it in that and filled it up. That's just an old metal bucket that the bottom had rusted out of. Both of those are. And uh, I got to get that in watered. There's another old metal bucket that I could plant in that the bottom's rusted. And then there's just a, gosh, that planter has some moss in it. I just repotted it. It is in an old light fixture of all things but it actually is pretty it's a frosted light fixture and uh i just potted a plant in there one reason one reason i put that in that in that bucket is because lee is still working up under the house i'm gonna move that um i just got it from somebody and brought it home and it was getting kind of wilted I wanted to get it planted, so I put it in a bucket because I'm gonna put it up under the up under the at the edge of the house there, up under this uh, this uh, rain uh, what's called rain chime that drips rain down, and then I'm gonna plant it right there underneath it when he gets all done with under the house. That's a bleeding heart. Most of y'all probably know what that is. We got that out from. <laughs> We got that out from an old homestead that uh, some of Lee's family lived at. And uh, the house was kind of run down, but there was flowers still around. And we dug that up years ago from uh, some of his family's old homestead. Bleeding heart. Whew, it's relaxing to sit down here. At the end of a long, hard day. 
sit by the fire and listen to the chickens <laughs> and the dog. Whew. It's relaxing. And this is where we're going to possibly do some live shows around this fire with the chairs. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven chairs here around the fire. A chicken hanging out with me right here. <laughs> anyway. And a horse behind me. So. <laughs> oh, me. Um, Y'all give us a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. And watch us on Friday nights at 7 p.m. Central Time. We're going to have a good time. And we're going to try to <laughs> entertain, you, <laughs> entertain you and educate you and everything else. And uh, so, whew, that's what we've been up to today. What y'all been up to?